What do you think? Christmas time with the Rift Terrigan. Corey's having a blast. Just got the music going. Lots of twinkles. <laughs> What in the heck are all these lights about? Some things have changed around here since I was here last. Lori, what in the heck are you doing? We haven't done anything yet. Why is there a snowman in my pond? Because it's Christmas. Is that Santa Claus music playing? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's yes, this big bulb over? You bought a bunch of this stuff for the thing? Yes, I did. Aren't those awesome? I just found them yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. That's actually cool. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do with this? It's gonna hang it from the ceiling. Wow. Oh my God, Lori! What have you done? Poor Matilda. Oh God, she's so excited. Look at her. Matilda, are you happy about Christmas? Wow. She's taking the next level on this one. Getting there. Hmm. A spider mold. This is taking it too far. What is my favorite enclosure here at the Reptarium? And you might think that it's actually Ivy's enclosure. Not only is it probably one of the most impressive enclosures, if not the most impressive enclosure that we have here at the Reptarium, but it also houses my favorite snake of all time. And I've talked about how I love the black-headed python's cage. The truth is, is although the enclosure itself looks really good, what makes it so amazing to me is the way, what, what makes it so amazing to me, which uh, by the way, uh, you know, back off there, buddy, is how the animals actually use this enclosure. It's like I've said, this mimics the wild probably better than any other enclosure I have. So it's really more about the animals than it is the enclosure itself. Maybe it's Lucy's enclosure, right? Because this was the very first giant enclosure that we ever built for the Reptarium. I remember when we were building this at Universal Rock and how impressive it was. I mean, it is definitely a really cool enclosure and I love Lucy to death too. So there is no doubt that this is definitely one of my favorites. But to be honest with you, you might be surprised which one is my favorite. This actually is my favorite enclosure in the place. That's right. As far as just the way it looks, it's just amazing. It looks like something you just took out a chunk of an area of real earth and put it in here with all the plants and everything else. It's absolutely amazing. And it typically has a beautiful waterfall. That's the other thing I love. I love water features. When we get over to the new Reptarium, there's gonna be tons more water features because I just think it brings everything to life. Unfortunately, this water feature broke a little bit ago and there's been nothing in this enclosure for the last month or so. So what we have to do is actually replace this pump right here. The downside is, is that pump has actually gone right through the wall. So I have to go behind the enclosures to get it unplugged so I can get this plug out of here. It is definitely tight back there. That's the first thing I need to do to get this thing retooled because we have a special animal going in here later today. And this is the area that I have to climb through. Yeah, this is not exciting at all. Oh, I gotta go all the way back here. We needed to have access to behind everything for all the plugs and anything else. But I tell you what, it is not fun back here. And it's not for someone that's claustrophobic, I can tell you that much. Oh. You won't believe this. The plug is actually plugged up on top. I didn't even have to come back here. Oh, okay, let's get out of here. Definitely gonna make a better walking space at the new place. Maybe give us at least two foot back here so you don't have to squeeze. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, so the plug is actually up here. I don't think which one it is though. Definitely coming from back over here. Okay, here we go. Gotta unplug that. Then I somehow have to get this plug over here out of the wall. Just have to yank on it. This might be harder than I thought. I'm gonna have to climb in the cage. Right. Woohoo! Got the pump out. Now gotta replace it with the new pump. Now we have to thread this back through that hole. We're gonna have to foam that hole back up, and then I'm gonna have to go back behind into the death area and get it up and over so that somehow we can plug it in. Seems easy enough. Okay, now to go back and once we get back here, we're gonna get to the point where we can plug it in. We don't wanna plug it in yet because there's no water in here. So then we'll clean out this water basin, fill it up with water, then we'll plug it in and hopefully the waterfall will work. <laughs> Definitely could have designed this better. There's no doubt about that. But in this place, we needed every inch of space we could get because you figure if I had this six or eight inches further out, the aisleways would be way tighter. In the new place, we have lots more space. Here's the cord right here. We just need that cord to be up top. Wish me luck. Oh! Nope. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. This might be harder than I thought. All right, it got up there, yay! Let's get the heck out of here. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of rinsing everything down. I'll suck the water out with the shop vac and then do it till the water is clean, right? And then we can turn the pump on and hopefully this waterfall will work. and uh, cross our fingers when we plug this in that it's actually gonna work. 
Have you noticed something new around here? Yes, yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure who's doing all this, but clearly they're a professional. I'm just worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's texting. She gave up. This She's is like, the best beat, bro. This is so stupid. Hey, are you even paying attention to what I'm saying? <laughs> no, seriously, like I'm trying to... Are you even paying attention? <laughs> Yes, yes I am. <laughs> Look at what's happening here. I'm worried. I don't want someone stealing my manager position. That's all I'm concerned about. There's still a few tortoise feeding. <laughs> I think they'll just end it there. That's great. Now the moment of truth. Let's hope that this pump works. We get a waterfall. Oh, look at it. It's coming. It's a waterfall. How exciting is that? Like I said, just take a look at that enclosure right there. It is so freaking awesome. Just listen to it. It's so soothing. I want this in my bedroom. I think I'd sleep better at night. Let's go ahead and get with Jessica because I know she's got a couple ideas on how she can improve this enclosure for sleep. All right, Jessica, waterfall's working again. I'm gonna turn it over to you. Honestly, what do you got? What are you thinking? Well, honestly, I kind of like the way the cage looks already, but I am gonna do a couple things. Try and give some more climbing surfaces and maybe just a little bit more foliage, but we got a lot of foliage in there. So good. I love the waterfall. I know, I'm so happy oh, it's good. working again. It's cool. Uh, all right, I'm gonna turn it over to Jessica, see what she can do. As Jessica's fixing up this enclosure, I think this is gonna be a really good transition for him to ultimately go into a larger enclosure across the street. Hopefully, he'll be up on the branches a lot so people can actually see him. And that's the whole purpose of this enclosure is so that people can actually see the animal inside. With life so busy around here, sometimes enclosures like this get put off to get repaired. So I'm so thankful that we finally got it going with one of my favorite enclosures in the entire Reptar, including one of my favorite lizards as well. And the animal that's gonna go into this new enclosure is actually Beetlejuice here. He's just getting a little bit big for this enclosure that he's in now and I think he's gonna really love it. They love to climb, you can see he loves to climb in this case. There's lots of climbing branches, area for it to bask, but it has a lot more surface area because lease monitors do spend a lot of their time on the ground as well. Now that he's gotten big, he doesn't have nearly enough space. This is actually twice the ground space that he has in the new enclosure. Sure. I think it's gonna be absolutely incredible. And then later on in the vlog, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna go in this enclosure. I'm super excited about that too. Check it out, it looks absolutely amazing. I know Beetlejuice is gonna really love it. Jessica, you did great. I love the it. additions to some climbing stuff, especially he can get up and get closer to the basking light. Which is really good, really good foliage. I can't wait to see him in, so let's go ahead and just do this. Beetlejuice, I'm excited for you. Guess what? I got a new place for you to play. Check it out. What do you think? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at, he's just like, he's going in here. He's like, what is this all about? That mind is working, the tongue's going trick. I mean, I love this experience. Every time we upgrade an enclosure to something bigger, I always get excited about it. See, look at, he's smelling. He's just sniffing around. Pretty soon, he's gonna get really comfortable in here, find his favorite spots. Monitors are super smart. They remember everything. I just love the fact that he's cruising around, just checking the place out. This is awesome. Uh, and by the way, now it's time to tell you what's gonna go in this enclosure. And of course, that's gonna be Daniel the Blood Python, the largest blood python in captivity on record. And she's been quarantined for the last six or eight weeks. She's ready to go over the Reptar, and I cannot wait to get her on display. And Jessica's gonna do a slight makeover on this, and then we're gonna get Mike to clean it out, and then Danielle will come over and check it out. Oh, dang. I think I pulled some. <laughs> <laughs> Just crush it. Is this full? I emptied it yesterday. So oh, no. It feels kind of full. <laughs> am I talking or am I just cleaning? Hey, Connie, why did the pool guy get canceled? Uh, I don't know. Didn't have a filter. Oh, the pool guy. I thought you said pool guy. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Miss Brian, I got a joke for you. What's another name for Oliver? I don't know what. Fart in the bathtub. Oliver? Sounds like fart in the bathtub. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh. I, I don't think we want to use that either, unfortunately. <laughs> well, I guess it's the end of that time lapse. <laughs> Dirt. 
dirt. And I've been waiting for this day ever since we got Danielle. She's such an amazing animal, so placid for a blood pipe. So I cannot wait to be able to show her off. Let's get her in her new cage. There you go, girl. Gosh, she is a giant blood python. And look at how good she looks. Oh my gosh, it is crazy. That is one big blood python. I'm telling you what. It's gonna be interesting to see what she does. You know, blood pythons aren't really climbers. So I don't expect her to spend too much time up here. The truth is I really don't know what she's gonna do. Of course she can hide back there. She's coming around the corner right now. She's gonna get a chance to kind of just search this place so up. So Beetlejuice got the other Upgrade. Now Danielle's got the upgrade. This was a good day. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.